Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is lecture number five on nanomaterial and application. Today, I want to discuss electron transport in this nanomaterial, which cover the carrier transport in nanostructure, then Coulomb rocket effect, then thermoionic emission, then tunneling and hopping conductivity, then defects and impurity that is deep level and surface defect. You can see this is the syllabus in which uh, this portion one, two. In one, we discuss about nanoscale system. Then two, discuss about synthesis of nanomaterial. In three, we discuss the characterization of nanomaterial. In four, we discuss optical properties. And this is the five we discuss electron transport. And in the upcoming session, we will be cover up the application part also. So let's start today's discussion. In the first lecture, we discuss about this example that is when there is a resistance and there is a variable uh, voltage source then what's happen if you change the voltage corresponding current variation will be like that but if the dimension of this wire is changed in the order in certain range then you can see the scarf is, is quantized this is the example and this actually the affects the nano size the uh, the current conductivity is like that is changed into the quantized this experimental result uh, actually explained here as a theoretical part okay this uh, actually effects uh, of the nanostructure is can be the quantum confinement can be effect tunneling effect charge dislocation and the strong electric field resisting so these are the possible effect for this uh, the quantization of the confinement effect okay so uh, this, the, there are some relation you can see this le equals to vf tau e v is the fermi velocity of electron le is the electric mean free path that is the average distance traveled by the electrons without being electrically <coughs> scattered and tau is the uh, elastic relaxation time and l phi equals to v, uh, vf tau f uh, similarly for phase square and length and this is the depressing time and gamma f is the fermi wavelength so finally this is the relation you need to know about this uh, nanostructure and this fermi wavelength is like that so these are the uh, length uh, length value for the nanostructure conduction now we just discuss about the drude conductivity which actually explain this phenomena why this is quantized okay so this actually explained by the Drude conductivity. Okay, here you can see this quantization of resistivity in case of nanoscale transport. You can see this is quantized. The electron taken random at time t will have a collision before time t and t plus t probability is like that. Then the electron eventually survive at the time t plus dt without suffering the collision is like that. One minus dt by tau e. And the collision probability at t plus dt is uh, this one. So if you integrating, you will be get the current density is like that, and the corresponding you know j equal to sigma. So corresponding conductivity is this, and if you see this relation comes into this uh, sigma, uh, sorry, sigma equals to two e square by h into n. That is n is natural number. So this conductivity is like that. This quantized. So this uh, Drude conductivity theory explain this experimental result. Now the Coulomb effect, effect is, this is important, very important effect. If you reduce the size of this, uh, you can see, if you reduce the size of this, uh, suppose suppose this uh, material, this nanomaterial, we just take, taking this example uh, like that. Sorry. This is the so this region is uh, nanostructure so this uh, structure is like that uh, this electron is transferred as a step function that is single electron can transfer through this so like this quantum dot like that this is quantum dot so single electron can transfer and if you reduce much uh, lower from this size then no electron can transfer within this medium you can see there is no electron so this is the tunneling effect when single electron actually passes and th this quantum size sufficiently small then a single electron not passes through the quantum dot even due to thermal energy okay so this is known as the coulomb effect blockade effect that is no current flow through this material so after a certain 
range of this uh, size of this quantum dot, uh, then no such single electron transfer uh, are possible is the Coulomb bracket effect. Clear? And condition for observation of Coulomb bracket is that the capacitors will be like that and the corresponding uh, temperature will be like that. So, such uh, condition actually gives you the uh, Coulomb buffer effect. Thermoionic emission is the important part that is, uh, you know, when you heated the metal, then what happens? The kinetic energy of the electron is enhanced, the current, uh, they are uh, speed, and after a certain value, its much energy is uh, caused, the emitted from this metal surface. That is, it cannot uh, go through within the metal, it emits from the metal surface, so, so its energy is much higher than its work function. You know about the work function that is the photoelectric effect when the photons are incident on the metal then its energy is uh, above the work function then electron ejected from the surface. Similar to here due to certain temperature this electron can eject it. This is thermal emission and this uh, actually uh, expressed in Richardson law and ch uh, children's uh, ch sorry child's law. Richardson law can be derived from this relation from Fermi Dirac distribution. This is energy and the Fermi Dirac distribution function change into the energy form. Taking this uh, state function, uh, density of state function, then number of electron. Taking just this calculation, you can easily find out uh, this expression. Okay, so you can do this calculation very well. Finally, you will be after this expression. You can see this is a constant part. Proportional to T square and this W by T. W is nothing but E S by E F separation of energy. Now comes into the trialing and hoping conductivity. Conducting is nothing but when there is two conductors separated by a uh, gap which is uh, very small, then what happened? Tunneling uh, the potential barrier, its, uh, its potential barrier will be like that. Uh, this is of potential barrier. So these are tunneled here. You know about the quantum mechanics tunneling. Single electron tunneling effect was also discussed in previous lecture. So there is a tunneling uh, of the con electron and there is a uh, tunneling conductivity. This is known as tunneling conductivity. And hopping conductivity is like that. There, if, if there is a amorphous system, then there is a state, available state, which are uh, conduct from the material and the electron jump to the hopping is the jump. So electron jumped and they make a conductivity. So this is hopping conductivity, this is tunneling conductivity. Next is defects and impurity. Uh, defects is nothing but there is irregularity in this structure. Okay, impurity means there is uh, the uh, different material which is used in the regular material. Okay, various types of defects actually there is three types of defect: point defect, line, line defect, planar defect. You can see these uh, are the regular structure within that there is a defect. You can see there is a defect. Point defect. These are all the point defects. And line defect is one line is missing. Suppose there is line here missing here. This is line defect. And the planar defect, this plane is changed in another plane. This is plane defect. Okay. These three things are written here. You can see. And different types of point defects is important. Point defect actually uh, affects your conductivity, etc. etc. Line defect and uh, plane defect also, but point defect is very important property gives you. Okay. Some of the point of view is vacancy. Vacancy, you know, uh, know for the p type and say n type doping in the semiconductor device, you know, there is a vacancy defect arises. Okay, there is a missing in regular size. Substitutional, that is, uh, one atom is substituted by the another atom. That is, aluminium is uh, substituted by silicon for p type semiconductor. This substitution will be two types isovalent, the valence will be same, and aliovalent, valence will be different. There is a valence is different. So, this is. Uh, okay. Interstitial that is there is regular side and one another uh, atom placed between these two regular side. This is the interstitial. Short key defect there is a anion and cation appears in pair. In the pair there is a, uh, they are formed. Franklin defect there is a, uh, one anion and cation in the interstitial position. Okay. Atoms transfer in the lattice in the interstitial position. Non-stitch symmetry is like. Okay. 
you can see the images here uh, and you know exciton is nothing but the electron hole pair and color central is like that uh, in a point defect where there is a transition and makes some radiation with color visible color uh, there is a calculation of the equilibrium of defect concentration uh, if you want you can go through this calculation otherwise you can just ignore this okay there is a calculation you can see the nature of this equilibrium the defect short key defects is important you can see here this concentration of the short key defect also and Frankler defect influencing defect okay i want to explain here that is short key defect is like that these are substitute that one that is this are the short key defect and Frankler defect is like that this plus is shifted here this plus shifted here this minus shifted here so there is a defect short key defect and this is shifted in interstitial position this is Frankler Frankler defect okay so for uh, calculation you can go through this calculation short key defect and Frankel defect equilibrium calculation you can go through this and there is corresponding ionic concentration here ionic mobility and then go to the line defect that one is uh, line is uh, missing fairing strength will be happening for the line defect uh, uh, slipping this types of slipping here okay and this is twilling this is the plane uh, defect one plane edge dislocation uh, this types of dislocation can be arises okay so just uh, go through this uh, uh, note i just give you the link in the description box you download this note and go through the movies okay main things we already discussed in the first portion planar infection uh, imperfection planar defect okay so that's it this is the question you must uh, solve this question so this is all about me this is my contact details this is my youtube channel details thank you